about feeding. Feeding. And feeding has so many uh, forms of food. There is the little food for the stomach, but there is what we call the food for the brain. And so what you feed on determines what you become. Now, when you look at this jackfruit tree, the quality of the fruit is determined by what this tree feeds on. So if you are a farmer and you look after the tree very well, the, uh, the best soil, the best manures, then you will get the best fruit. Now, at TFK Numeric Publishers, we write clubs, we believe that as food is to the brain, so is reading, as food is to the stomach, so is reading to the brain. So I was glad that on this one day, <clears throat> I got to meet Mr. John Nagenda. May his soul rest in peace. John Nagenda was such, uh, I would want to call him, I would say he, is, he was literally generous. In other words, he made a decision to feed us, not the stomach, but the brain, with the best of articles that you can find in the land. These articles started in the New Vision, the Sunday Vision, then later moved to the Sunday Vision. But later on, we engaged and we agreed that I write for him a book, which he, he went on to name it One Man's Week, because he wanted to keep up his title of his book. And so we went on wrote this book and launched it in London. So I asked him, he put a challenge to me and said, Frank, if you are going to write a book for me, you can only launch it in London or in America. I was quick to take the challenge and thankfully I was able to get an opportunity and we launched the book in London. Now, he has left us. John Nagenda is dead yet alive because of his written works that are published. We all have stories that we need to tell, but some of us have chosen to keep our stories to ourselves. And by that way, by that decision, I say that you only cheat yourself because the generations that are coming, the developments that we yearn to see are all vested in thoughts, thoughts that, that are laden with knowledge, diverse knowledge that were never told. Now, John Nagenda's articles were all encompassing, laden, seasoned with flavor, intellect, and knowledge, wide encompassing knowledge, locally in Uganda, in East Africa, abroad, America, name it, talk about it, wrote about it, and he critiqued it and created order of things, literally. May the Lord bless his soul, and may the Lord comfort and strengthen his family. But to us, he is an icon in the world of publishing, and we shall forever remember him for that. He is a great man.